Hi, my name is Liz Njaga. I have been acting for about um, 15 years. Did you see the big sign outside the barber's window? You're not allowed to be in here. You need to wait outside. My latest work that you can actually see me in is House of Lungula, which we did last year. It's a sexy comedy. Um, I've also been in The Town of Lazarus, New Marath and Her Guru. I've worked, these are films. I've worked in a few TV series like Makutana Junction, which is what most Kenyans know me for. Um, but I've also worked in Tencent, which is a Nigerian soap opera, which is what Nigerians know me for. So I'm a Pan African actor. <laughs> Summoning her over here with the sole purpose of telling her not to steal your brother's money. My mother went through the same thing. What happened? My father left her and she had to look after all seven of us alone. Back when I was growing up, um, when I was young in primary school, and we used to have like drama um, festivals and everything. And I used to be involved in a lot of, in the drama club in school. So I used to love doing it. And I think I've always loved imagination. I've always loved going into a fantasy world, which is what I think acting is. It's, um, um, you know, watching all this, fairy tales and things like that. So I've always loved that. So I just knew I've always wanted to do it from when I was younger. Sakana did this I think the most fun role for me to play was, um, is actually, because I'm still on it, is Tinsel. Tari, oh, she's so, she's a fabulous, she's like very energetic and, and fun loving and, and uh, loyal and you know, she, she, she just loves to have fun and she's, she's very confident. So I, I really love Tari. What else do you think I should take on? Fine, I'm sorry, but I did it just to help out their marriage. The only person that doesn't agree is your brother. Okay, a role that I haven't played yet that I'd love to play is something action. You know, something like an action romance type of thing. I'd love to do an Angelina Jolie type character and just putting gun at people. That would be fun. <laughs> Whew, wow. I would love to do Scandal, Olivia Pope's character. I think there's just something about it that character that is fun to play, you know, because she's got her weaknesses. I mean, hey, she's speaking as a married man, you know, but she's still a woman of power, you know, a woman, a confident woman, a woman who um, people, when she walks in a room, people take notice. So I'd love to play Olivia Pope. Uh, let's see, you know, this is an interesting question. I'm trying to think who I'd love to work with. Obviously, after watching 12 Years a Slave, I really love uh, Steve McQueen. I think he's an amazing director. I've never seen any of his work. Uh, this was the first um, work of his that I actually saw. And now I'm going to look for the other ones, I think Hunger and Shame. But I really love to work with him because he pushes boundaries. And I think that is a good thing um, for any director, for, you know, for an actor to work with a director like that. Directors that are not afraid to push boundaries and just um, say what they want to say without caring about um, the repercussions. So 12 Years to Save is an amazing film. Um, actors that I'd love to work with, I think Julia Roberts, I don't know, I just always loved her, like from way before, you know, like she's just so, so, um, she's so open as an actress. Well, when you're watching her playing whatever character she's playing, I, I'd love to work with her. So, I would love to work with Denzel Washington, I think. Every girl, probably, that's probably the dream. Yeah, no, <laughs> maybe just me. But he's um, really cool. He's really cool. He's, he's, um, he's serious, but fun, funny. You know, and he does all these really lovely characters that are so deep and so, um, so complex. And I think that's the thing I love about him. Well, of course, challenges as an actress. Uh, one of the challenges we face a lot is pay because we're not really paid what we're worth in terms of most productions don't really have 
um, enough of a budget to be able to pay you. Now, I've been fortunate because I'm able to work in, um, you know, in, in Lagos, and the pay there is slightly better than here. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's a bit more amazing than here. And I'm able to um, pay my bills from acting. And that is one of the challenges I think that everybody faces. And, you know, in most of these industries, like around the world, in Nollywood and in, and in, in Kenya. Now, another challenge that we face, of course, is not having material, not having really good scripts to um, good characters. There's, I, I mean, I, in, in Hollywood, I know they have the, the problem of not having good characters for women. But here, we have just very few meaty roles, I think, especially for film. I mean, TV, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff to work with, but when it comes to film, we have very few scripts that are actually that actually make it to production, and um, yeah, I think that is one of the things that we face, one of the challenges. We, if there was a lot more movies going out, if there was a lot more movies in production, if there was a lot more content out there, then we'd have different roles to choose from. But right now, the roles are very limited. I'd say. As a producer, the challenges we face are obviously money. <laughs> it's um, it's very hard to get people to invest in local production. And I think probably because everybody's scared about going into our chocolate waters, but I found that there is potential because the industry is just beginning. The industry is 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 at a point where it's going to blow up, you know, and, and all it needs is that one investor that is like, I'm gonna just invest in, you know, local production and they're eventually gonna make money. I think so that's one of the challenges we face, being able to find financiers for our project. Well, tax breaks for sure. We definitely need tax breaks. I mean, it's so expensive to make a film, and the government needs to give us tax breaks. I mean, I can't, I can't stress that enough. I mean, they do that in South Africa. They get tax breaks, um, and we need that as well. And if they can push industries like, you know, to invest and and whatever they invest in uh, the film industry, they can get tax breaks from that. You know what I mean? So we need that. Like, I think that that is the first thing that will encourage um, Airtel, Safaricom, you know, um, Blackberry to invest in the Kenyan film industry if they're getting tax breaks off that. I don't mean that. I'm in love with Aaron Rice. I could lose my job if I give you that money. Will the two of you just shut up? Um, hey, if the Oscar comes, hey, you know, but kudos to you, Peter, well done. Oh. But seriously, I think um, I'm working on a few projects. I, more movies for sure. We're definitely going to do more films and more crazy films like House of Lungla. That is now our niche, you know. You're going to be looking at historia films for crazy films. Um, but also in terms of productions that I'm acting on, I think there's, there's, um, there's Jane and Abel that's coming up soon. It's a soap opera and I play the character Jane. It's gonna be showing in Africa Magic Entertainment. There's also uh, First Lady that's coming up. Um, we still haven't picked a station for it to show in Africa, so they're still shopping around for a station, but it's a reality show, so that is definitely coming. Um, and then of course there's Veve, which is a film I did that was produced by the producers of Nairobi Half-Life. That should come out in uh, September, it's coming out soon. Um, I was the lead actress in that. Um, Esther, you need to watch that film. It's, it's cool. It's a really, it's, 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 you need to watch it. I mean, I haven't seen it, but you know, like that, from reading the script and, and being involved in the production, there's great things coming up in store. Yeah. If this is what you want to do, do it. If you can do something else, go do something else. Because this world isn't easy. You know, you will audition a hundred times and probably get that one role. After auditioning a hundred times, you know, you, you'll be turned away so much. Yeah, but if it's what you really want to do, and you know, in the bottom of your heart, you really want to do this, then that won't deter you. You'll just keep going. And, and I always tell people, don't get tired of auditioning, because it can get tiring. You can be like, oh, you know, I never get the part. I keep auditioning, and they keep casting so and so, and they never cast me. But you know, just keep going. Don't give up. Because you never know, one day, that might be you, you know, receiving that award. 
you know, that, that academy award, that might be you. So don't give up. It pays off in the end. If this is what you want to do, it's not go be a banker, go be a lawyer, go be a, you know, a singer, go do anything else. Nothing. Come on, Nancy. No, nothing happened. Thanks, Shaka. You're a good man. I could lose my job if I give you that money. The two of you just shut up. I'm sorry, I just need to be alone. One of the things I love about Creative Garage is just giving creatives a space to play and to be creative. I think that is very admirable. You know, and I'd just like to congratulate you guys for doing that. You know, because we are in a, in a place where it was never a good thing to be creative. And it's only being appreciated right now. And hey, kudos to you guys for, for doing a great job. You can follow me on Twitter at Liz Njaga, that's at L-I-Z-Z-N-J-A-G-A-H. And Facebook, I'm on Facebook, my page is Liz Njaga. Again, L-I-Z-Z-N-J-A-G-A-H. Thank you.